Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to manage books and PDF files on your iPad using iBooks, along with syncing using iTunes on a Mac or Windows computer. The first thing you'll need to do is download iBooks that can be found in the App Store. I happen to have mine in a folder named Lifestyle that it auto named, but there's the App Store, download it for free. Once you have that, you can open iBooks. If we open iBooks, you'll see that in here is nothing, but under collections, we have a couple different options. We have books, purchased books, and PDFs. If I go to books, you'll see there's one book here, The Story My Life by Helen Keller, and we can add to our collection by going to the store. We can do this all from the iPad by itself. We have some different options here. We'll go to books, and we can pick whatever we want. We can search for whatever we want and simply add those. If I just pick up and tap on this particular book we can view a sample or we can buy the book once we do that it will auto load into our library and show up here for us to read if you have this little cloud icon here that means that you have the book but it isn't on this device you can simply tap on it and it will download to the device it just shows you what you've already purchased or downloaded in the in the past and it makes it easier to access now again if we want pdfs we can find those under a different selection since we don't have any PDFs there's a couple different ways to get a PDF onto your iPad the first or easiest way we'll talk about is through email if it's a small enough file you can just email it to yourself if I go over to the email app or mail app you'll see that we're in a document I've just simply named it PDF I mailed it to myself and it's on the left here and because it has a paper clip it means it has an attachment even though it's a PDF, it shows up as normal text. But if we tap and hold that text, because we know it's an attachment, it will give us, give us options to open it in iBooks or any other application that can read a PDF. If I open it in iBooks, it will switch over to iBooks and put it in iBooks. So now we have it in iBooks. We go back to our library, and it's right here. If we want to delete it, we can do that by hitting Edit, tapping on it, and hitting delete 